Hello student, my name is Hridesh and you are watching my channel, Your Classroom at Home. If you really want to increase your mathematics skills, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel. A student, in today's lecture, I am going to solve a good question on the basis of application of trigonometry. Question says, an aeroplane is flying. An aeroplane is flying vertically above a straight horizontal road vertically above a straight horizontal road at an instant The angle of depression of two consecutive milestones, the angle of depression of two consecutive milestones, two consecutive milestones. On the opposite side of the aeroplane. On the opposite sides of the aeroplane is found to be alpha and beta. Is found to be alpha and beta then show that the height then show that the height in miles of the aeroplane in miles of the aeroplane is given by tan alpha into tan beta upon tan alpha plus tan beta student first of all i will try to draw the figure of this question let's say this is the height of an aeroplane an angle of depression on the opposite sides of two consecutive milestones, let's say this is one of the stone A and this is another stone B and the distance between these two stones is one mile and angle of depression of this stone is found to be alpha and Angle of depression for this stone is found to be beta. And the distance between AB is 1 mile. Since these are consecutive milestones. So, if this angle is alpha, this will be alpha since alternate angles are equal if this angle is beta this will be further beta let's say this point is c and this point is d let ac is x then bc will equals to 1 minus x miles since the distance between ab is 1 mile. If this is x, this will be 1 minus x mile. Now consider right angle triangle DCA. In right triangle 
DC A. DC upon AC will equal to tan alpha. DC upon AC is equal to tan alpha. Let's say the height of the aeroplane is H. Therefore, H upon X is equal to tan alpha or H is equal to X tan alpha. This is our first equation. Now consider right angle triangle DCB. In right triangle DCB, DC upon DC is equal to tan beta. DC upon DC is equal to tan beta. DC is H and DC is 1 minus X. This will be tan beta. So, H will equal to 1 minus X into tan beta. Let's say this is our second equation. By comparing first and second, By comparing first and second, x tan alpha will equal to 1 minus x tan beta. x tan alpha will equal to 1 minus x tan beta. x tan alpha 1 into tan beta is tan beta minus x tan beta. Now transpose x tan beta to the left hand side. So taking x as common tan alpha plus tan beta is equal to tan beta. Therefore x will equal to tan beta upon tan alpha plus tan beta. Now put this value of x in equation first. Put x is equal to tan beta upon tan alpha plus tan beta in 1. Therefore, h that will be height of the aeroplane from the straight horizontal row. x tan alpha x is tan beta into tan alpha upon tan alpha plus tan beta. So, the height of the aeroplane is tan alpha into tan beta upon tan alpha plus tan beta. So, student, in today's lecture, I have solved a good question related to application of trigonometry. So, keep watching my videos and keep practicing. Thank you. Take care.